Hi everyone, I'm Gabriel Zamora, and thank you so much for watching. On my channel, I've done a couple of videos where I do full face using one makeup brand. I live for it because it helps me find like products that I like love that I would have never tested, and also products that I'm like, okay, thank God I tested this because I don't like those. One day, I was face tuning a photo, and I was like, okay, girl, this is too much. You're going real in. Practically, your whole makeup is face tuned, and I was like, oh, what if I did my entire face using face tune? Because I'm really good at face tuning, you guys. Out of all my friends, me and Nikita were real good at face and we're like Rrr. so I wanted to create a video where I do my entire face using facetune so if you want to know exactly how I go from this to this then keep on watching let's begin you guys I have an iPhone X it is currently charging this is my battery I'm obsessed with it I got it on Amazon you guys this is what my thing looks like what do I do I take the photo first right all right why do I look so pretty on there and not on here why does this lighting look so bad I'm like thinking of like poses that I would do like in a photo Okay, do we have one? I have like the most like just closed eyes. This is so sad. Maybe if I do it on the Snapchat camera. Why does it look so bad? No, let's do flash. Maybe that'll help. Why is this lighting so bad? I can't do it with this lighting. I need to stand up. <laughs> Maybe like the lighting's better up here. I look so pretty on camera, but I look so rough on Snapchat. What does that mean? I fucking hate this lighting. What if I did portrait mode? Natural light? No. Contour light, stage light, studio light. No, can we do that one? Yeah, that's gonna be the one, you guys. Here we go. I generally use Facetune 2, but Facetune 2 is like more expensive. Okay, so let's pick a photo. Oh my God, what if I have inappropriate photos? <gasps> okay, blur this out, you guys. This one? Oh, okay. I can do this one, you guys. Step one, when I do my makeup, I do primer. Oh, let me charge my phone. So what does primer do? Primer basically makes me matte and gives me like luminous type of skin. Like today, oh, that's literally all I'm wearing, but I'm wearing like the strobe cream from MAC. I'm gonna just start removing like imperfections in the skin. So you can either blur or you can patch. Oh my God, when did I get that zit? God, this camera's not forgiving. Let's go in and patch. So these little nuggets right here that just need to go away. So you patch that there. Patch, patch, patch. We're gonna get rid of all those imperfections. And we're gonna give me glorious, perfect skin. So let's keep patching away. Patches Ohulahan. Where's Patches Ohulahan from? <gasps> from Dodgeball. That's what it's from. Oh, I love Dodgeball. I never played it, but I did like the movie. I was like, nobody makes me bleed my own blood. Nobody. <laughs> God, this takes forever. Like actually put on primer if you're gonna do this. Or, like I like a smoothing filter. So I'm basically like correcting all the discoloration. Okay, you guys, so that's pretty much as much as I can make it look like it's foundation. So basically what I did was I painted it and then I went with the eraser just to try to like smooth it out. That's what the skin looks like. That's probably as good as it's gonna get. But I wanted to change the color of it. So one of the things that I had like learned a very long time ago on Facetune, I literally figured this out on my own. So that's why I'm giving you the secret because I gave it to all my friends and like, nobody likes to share this secret. So I'm gonna share it with you guys. So if you go under filters at the bottom right and you go to lighting at the bottom left, you change it. So it now gives you different options right there. You go to the right and you go to sunset. You see how it instantly gave it a tan type of thing? See like if you press the before and after, it made the whole thing tan, right? Once it's here, up the opacity of it, like how like warm it is. So if you go to the right, it makes me more tan. If you go to the left, it takes the tan away. So there you can see it at the top, the sunset, zero to 100. So I'm gonna leave it at 100. And basically what I do is I go to the bottom and I do wipe. So it gives you these options. So you can wipe, apply, fill, clear. So I'm gonna clear it all. And I'm gonna go in and I'm just basically gonna apply it and then reduce the opacity of it. But I just wanna see exactly where it is that I'm applying it. So I'm gonna treat it as like contour, almost like if it would be like my bronzer. So now I'm bringing it here to my neck. So be careful. If you go outside of where you want to put anything, you go to wipe and you just wipe it off. This has honestly been one of my favorite tricks with just warming up the face. Especially if you take a photo, sometimes like the flashback, like very like James Charles, like very flashback Mary, it gives you like white face. One of the tricks with that is also like using like a good setting spray, but sometimes even then like the powder can have just like a weird flashback or the foundation could. So what I would do is I would basically tan, bring back the warmth in my face with this. So see, I'm bringing it all over my face. Make sure it's not like on the backdrop. Should I just shoot one video today and say <laughs> Cause I'm like, this is taking way too long. I was not planning to be here until six. Usually what I do after this, I go into brows. So let's go into brows. Let's go into lighting. I think we can do that. Why do my brows actually look good here? 
So I'm basically just darkening the brow area. Why does it look red? Maybe blacken? Oh, blacken. Okay, so if you're trying to like, if you want a more cool toned type of brow, do blacken. If you want a more like reddish toned type of dark brow, do darken. This is a brow. That is makeup. You like clean it up. You know how like when you clean it up with a concealer? You can just clean it up with the app. So now that the brows are done, you guys, what we want to do is we want to add eyeshadow. That's basically what I would do next. I'm not going to bake underneath the eye because it's so fucking unnecessary. How am I going to take that off? So what I'm going to do is, ooh, look, there's like all these lights. So I want like a transition type of color. Let's clear it out and we're going to go into the eye. Let's actually go into this lighting. Darken. Okay, let's wipe that off. And then we're going to go in. I wonder if I can fake like a cut crease. Um, Let's take some of that off. Maybe we can just do a rounded out eye. Okay, now let's reduce it. Someone you likes you on Tinder? Maybe I can get them with this photo. Do you ever just like Photoshop photos for fun? No? So let's add some like color to it. Maybe we can add some like gold and like save it possibly. So you go to tones and then you just place it. Which it looks like I'm placing like Fenty Beauty Trophy Wife. Now let's add liner. To add liner, oh, you know what we can do actually? Better, let's go back to lighting and we're gonna go into dark. Yeah, cause see, look, it almost creates like a complete black. Okay, so, it's because we can always kind of like erase it. So basically what you do is you wipe. And you know how like how people clean that look? That is the worst liner in the entire world. But you know what? It is very true to Gabriel. Okay, we're gonna go to tones, you guys, and we're gonna add eyelash extensions. Basically what you wanna do is you wanna go into the palette, you gotta wanna go to black, you wanna go back to tones, and what we're gonna do is we're gonna find the lashes and elongate them. Okay, you guys, so we're taking a small intermission. My Chipotle came through. I'm not sponsored by Chipotle, but imagine being sponsored by Chipotle. Oh, I'd get so thick. I don't feel like a proper thick. Also, I'm eating with a spoon because a driver didn't bring me a fork. Thanks, Postmates Trimer. Okay, you guys, now that I've taken a little mini break, let's get back into the lashes. Okay, so those lashes look pretty bomb, I'm not even gonna lie. Now let's go to the other eye and let's make those lashes long. I Like, my lashes already look so good, you guys, because I have a lash lift, if you don't know what that is. I'm not exactly sure what it is, but basically my lashes are permanently curled. I went to OC to be the beauty. I live for it. I'm a very, like, natural kind of girl. I mean, I don't do BB cream, like, the f I'm not that natural. Okay, that's as good as those lashes are gonna get. Oh, wow, look, okay. I did my mascara, I did my brows. Now let's bronze up the skin. No, I wanna put blush on first. Is there a light that's pink that I could apply that with? Yes, look at that. Okay, so red, so we're gonna wipe it. And basically, we're gonna add blush on the cheeks. I like to put some on my forehead. I'm gonna keep it true. I think I put too much on there. Erase some of it. Blush is not the prettiest thing I've seen, but okay. Okay, now that the blush is on, you guys, let's bronze up the face. So we're gonna go back into this one. This one, I know for sure. Let's go to sunset. Let's wipe it. And let's just like make myself real bronze. This is why I'm always so bronzed, you guys, in photos. And what this does is it's not like an exact color. It's like a film that you're applying. So it brings back like the warmth on the skin without messing up like any lines or anything like that. So that's why it looks more natural than like applying like brown on your skin. Now let's contour the nose with bronzer. That's honestly how I like to bronze up my face. Okay, now let's take some of that off. <laughs> well, I wanna do it. So I'm gonna actually apply it all over the face just to add warmth back into all of the face, even the highlighted areas. And let's like lower that to like there. Like a 10, like a three, no, no, no. Like, like an eight. Okay, bronzer's done, blush is done. Now, highlight, okay. Okay, so to do highlight, I think I could like play with lighting. Maybe if I did like lighter. Why am I so good at face tone? Okay, maybe not that good. But like, how do I make it like bright? Uh, how do I do it? Maybe whiten, like when you whiten your teeth. Unless, do you want me to be real shady? This is probably what I'm gonna do now. Let me really give you a secret. Cause I'm thinking it in my head. I'm like, what if lighten, right? And create that fake highlight. Okay, look, look, look. look. No, 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 I got this, I got this, I got this. Don't tell me I'm not good at Facetune. I don't know what I'm going like. Oh. Um, nope, that's not what we're gonna do. Okay, maybe tones, tones. Maybe if we go to like a yellow, like that. It's just as good as it's gonna get. You know what, let's just add some fucking setting spray and call it a stupid day. I mean, the nose doesn't look as bad. The areas that look the worst are probably like the areas with like my facial hair. And the lashes, 
Just don't tell me that those lashes don't look good. The brows, if I, I think if I took more time on it, I could probably like execute it really well. The eyeshadow, I guess you can kind of like think it's real. The liner looks fake. The highlighter is probably the worst thing in the entire world. The blush, I don't like. Oh, I never even applied like a lip color. I mean, I guess I could apply one right now. Let's just apply it red, call it a day. Okay, you guys, so that is my entire face using Facetune as makeup. If you guys like this video, make sure you give this video a thumbs up. If you have any comments, questions, concerns, leave them down in the comment section down below. If you attempt this and you wanna like send it to me, maybe like tweet it at me, don't post this on Instagram because mine look rough. If yours looks better than mine, post it on Instagram and like send it to me, DM it to me because I actually wanna see how it looks because <laughs> mine wasn't that bad. It just wasn't like as spectacular as I thought it was really gonna be. Like I am a face tune. I'm really good at face tune. Like I'm like a black belt in face tune. So for that to come out of me, I'm like, Whatever you guys, if you like this video, make sure you subscribe to my channel. If you have any other suggestions for me to do under hi everyone, let me know down in the comment section down below. And until next time, bye everyone. Bye everyone. Bye everyone. I just love Chipotle. I just found out you guys. McDonald's owns Chipotle. To everything I eat, McDonald's and Chipotle. I'm like, mm, do I feel Chipotle today? Nah, I'm gonna go to McDonald's. Next thing you know, they're gonna own Chick-fil-A. Bye everyone.